Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again, and today we're talking about the Equifax breach. All right, take a breath because it is infuriating, angry, panic can ensue, so just relax. And we're gonna try and take this very, very calm, cool, and collected. So, the Equifax breach, 140 million Americans and some people around the globe as well have been affected by the Equifax breach. Now, the breach supposedly happened several months ago and we're just finding out about it now. I haven't made a video about this until more information came out so I could give you guys very solid, conclusive, information. Now, number one, Equifax is being bombarded by people calling, trying to freeze their credit, trying to get into their trusted ID protection software. The trusted ID protection software might, might waive your rights to a class action lawsuit or being able to get some court hearing, right? They are maybe asking for arbitration. So it's very difficult, the fine print of it, the fine print of the user agreement for this trusted ID solution that they want to give you for ID theft protection to get your credit report with Equifax to have this million dollar protection if your ID is taken, compromised, and used. It may waive your rights to bring a lawsuit against Equifax, okay? So just be aware of that. Take a look at that. Look into those types of things when you are reading the fine print. They might make you go through arbitration if you have any type of legal recourse that you would like to recover a sum of money for your identity theft. Now, you can freeze your credit reports with the three major credit bureaus, and even the fourth one, Innovis, which some people are aware of, Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, Innovis. Now, with these, you can do them online if their sites are not crashing. I know Equifax is very, very busy, and you can call them if you can't get through. I've seen it. Some people can't get through on the phone. Some people can't get through on their computers to freeze it. You will have to keep checking back or you can get other credit monitoring softwares, right? So here's Credit Karma, you got the free ones, but you might have to invest in a little something out there to be able to really check your reports. Now, I would say definitely get a report now, annualcreditreport.com. You can get that for free. Take a look at your credit cards, monitor your scores. Maybe check out a MyFICO. It is more money, but it might be useful for you. There are other sites out there that offer ID theft protection, things of this nature, all right? If you are concerned about it, please take it seriously. What are the odds? Well, it's 140 million people. Hopefully you haven't been affected and hopefully none of us will be affected. Hopefully this data breach is not an issue. The other thing with the trust identity protection, uh, whatever they call their monitoring service, they might one day start charging for it. So who knows, right? And you're also giving your information back to Equifax and they, it was a, it's a whole mess. So I feel for you guys out there, 140 million of us affected. You can go to Equifax site, you can put the last six of your social in your information, your name, and see if you were affected. However, I'm being told that the site doesn't always come back properly. I've seen it where the site doesn't come back properly to show you. So you may want to assume that you are affected and take the necessary precautions. Freeze your credit, all right? You can also, and here's another thing, you can also do a fraud alert. All right, this is something a little bit further, a little bit more advanced, a little bit more in depth. If you're the victim of identity theft, what you have to do is you have to go to a police or sheriff station. When you are there, you tell them, hey, I'm the victim of an identity theft situation. I need to fill out a police report. Technically, this is a situation where your information was compromised. 140 million people information on compromise. So, there is identity theft. You can file a report and you could put on a fraud alert on your reports. Now, you can lift security freezes and fraud alerts as you need to. Lifting a security freeze and putting on a security freeze may cost up to $10, depending on your state's fees. So it's gonna cost a little bit of money, but it's better to be preemptive than reactive and have to worry about your ID being stolen. Now, again, relax, breathe, everything's gonna be okay. K, you've got it, you're in the solution now. The other thing to be concerned about is to file your tax returns as quickly as possible. Some of us put them off, some of us do extensions, but you want to file your tax returns because you don't want someone else filing some other tax return in, in your name and trying to get a refund and all this nonsense, okay? So file your tax returns as soon as possible. Keep your security high, all right? Make sure that you're monitoring your credit reports for the next six months a year. Just you should be monitoring your credit reports anyway. And if you're in the credit repair process, you're monitoring your credit reports 
So, if you have any other questions or concerns, you can feel free to shoot me an email. Just put some comments in the comments below. Also, I'm going to put a in the description box the numbers and the website where you can freeze your information. And I hope this was very helpful for you guys, all right? Everyone is going to be all right. We're doing it. And if you need help with your credit repair, 609creditrepair.com. We can do it for you guys. I'm here for you. I love you guys so much. Hit the bell for subscriptions and notifications. And I'll see you on the other side. Take care.